Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. So today, I am going to be doing try-on. And I feel like I haven't done a try-on in forever, so I'm super excited for this video. I got this stuff probably six weeks ago. <laughs> That's how long it's been since I've like actually done an actual try-on. Um, so hopefully all of these things are still available. As always, I will have everything linked down below in the order in which I am trying them on in. And let me know because I was actually going to make this into a styling video, but I'm kind of like, I don't really feel like styling right now because I feel like you guys just kind of prefer to see the out, like the things that I bought tried on and not actually styled. So if you do want videos where I'm styling versus just trying them on, let me know in the comments down below because I really want to do what you guys want to see. But according to the numbers on the two styling videos that I did, it seems like you guys just prefer to see me try things on. So again, comment down below and let me know. And without further ado, we are gonna go ahead and get started. But before we do, if you are new here, please subscribe, click that notification bell, and as always, give this video a thumbs up. Now let's get to it. Okay, so starting off, we just have this basic black shirt. This is a size 20. It fits really well, and I love shirts like this because I'm a basic B. Like, I'm just going to put it out there. I'm a basic B, and I try to not be a basic B and say that I'm going to, like, I'm going to dress this way, and I'm going to look all cute, and I'm going to... No, I'm basic. <laughs> my, like, this is my uniform 99% of the time. Throw on some Chuck Taylors or some Vans and call it a day. Like, I love basic shirts like this. But what I love about this one is, number one, it has a bit of a cap sleeve. But I love the fact that it's not right here. I feel like when the cap sleeve cuts right there, it just makes your arms look so much bigger. So I love that the cap sleeve is, like, a little bit longer. And here in the back, you have just this little bit of detail and that's what I love about basics, where they have extra little details added. It's my favorite, favorite thing. So this shirt, obviously it's black, so it's going to be my favorite, but I'm definitely going to be getting lots of use out of it. It's nice and stretchy. It's soft. It feels really good. And I am here for this one, so we are starting this haul out really well. So this shirt right here, I don't remember, I didn't look at the size, so I don't know what size it is. It's probably a 22 or a 24, but I will put that information down below, and I will try to remember to tell you after I try on the next thing. But it's just one of those silky blouses. These aren't my favorite, because I do tend to sweat a lot un underneath my arms. And when you start sweating underneath your arms in a silky blouse, like, it's just, oh, it's such a horrible feeling. I'm just like, oh, I hate that feeling. <laughs> but again, I bought this so I could style it. And I kind of styled it a little bit. This isn't how I would normally do it. Um, I think I was thinking about doing it with a black skirt or something like that. But this is still super cute, especially, like, if you have an office job, more professional job, you can totally wear this, throw a blazer on top. Just wear it like this with some khakis or some black pants. Call it a day. I just threw on a little belt. And it fits really well. It is a little long in the arms, as you can see. It kind of goes down. But honestly, I kind of like to wear blouses with the sleeves up anyways. So that's not a huge issue or huge deal breaker for me. So that's this one. You could also obviously wear it untucked. It's not my favorite untucked because it kind of just like doesn't give you any shape. Um, this is not stretchy material, by the way, by any means. Um, but it is kind of not oversized, but it's a little bit bigger, so it doesn't give you shape. So I do like it better tucked in. But this is also something that you can wear, you know, a cami up underneath and just kind of wear it open. You can tie it. You can do so many things with blouses like this. Um, so you can like dress them up for something like more conservative and an office job or you can also wear this on a date and like kind of dress it down a little bit. I really do love the um, the pattern on this as well. It's zebra and cheetah print, I believe. Okay, so this shirt was a size 20. 
This is also a size 20 and it's just a nice beige cream, it's not beige, it's cream, um, sweater that is so cute. I love it. I love how it has the balloon sleeves and it goes just ever so slightly off, not really off the shoulder, but just ever so slightly. It's messing with my uh, lighting. The white always messes it up, but yeah, these are super cute. I love sweaters because you can do so many things with them. You can pair it with a skirt, you can pair it with jeans, you can pair it with dress pants, just throw on a sweater. You can, you know, wear it with booties, sneakers. When I say sneakers, I mean Chuck Taylors. Um, you can pair them with knee-high boots, over-the-knee boots, with some jeans. I love sweaters. As a matter of fact, fall and winter is my favorite seasons to shop for and to dress for. Like, I just love sweaters so much. I kind of wish that I lived in a colder climate because of my love affair with sweaters, but I don't. So, yeah, anyways. This is very stretchy right here. It's very stretchy in the arms, uh, kind of long and oversized in the arms. And I am 5'4", just for reference. Uh, it is a little banded and a little more fitted down here, but I'm not mad at it. I actually really, really like it, and I really love this. The only thing is, yes, first of all, forgot when I pulled this out of the package, it already had this little stain on it. So that kind of made me mad because I was like, I really wanted this sweater. I love stuff like this. And I have like a great pair of like tan boots I can wear this with, a great pair of brown boots I can wear this with. And so this is definitely going back. And I'm probably not going to go through the whole process of trying to exchange it. But yeah, I also am noticing a really weird smell. Like I don't know what it is. But it's very strong and it's kind of a little offensive. So I'm not really crazy about that. It almost kind of, it's kind of like a chemically, chemical clean scent, if that makes sense. But not in a good way. Not in a good way at all. So yeah. This is definitely going back, but I freaking love this and I highly recommend it. It's definitely going to keep you warm in the fall and winter months for sure. Okay, another basic white t-shirt. It just says bless in black lettering. I want to say that this came in other colors as well. No, quote me on that though. Um, and this is a size 20. So this is just again a basic cotton t-shirt. It's a softer cotton. It's not stiff. Um, it definitely has a little bit of stretch to it. I love t-shirts like this where you can just kind of do a little French tuck. Hold on, let me see or you can completely tuck it in. Or something I've been loving to do lately too is just to kind of put it in my uh, the belt loop of my jeans and wear it like this. Just basic in the back. But this is super cute and I really like it and it's very comfy. Like I said, it's not scratchy or hard. I really like this a lot. It's very light too, so it's not like a super heavy cotton, which is my favorite. I love light cottons. Okay, this one is also a US 20. I love this. However, I'm not a big fan of the length. And again, you can totally finagle that by, you know, tucking it in, kind of leaving it like this. Why is my light cracking? Did y'all hear that? Um, you can do the thing with the belt loop. Let me see how this looks. That's cute, actually. And I love the fact that it's off the shoulder. It doesn't necessarily stay off the shoulder and you do have to kind of pull it down because this is how it was advertised that it was supposed to look and supposed to be like straight off the shoulder, which I really like that. And like I said, like as you move about throughout the day, move your arms, all that stuff, it's not going to stay that way, which kind of sucks. Um, this is a ribbed fabric. It's like a soft cotton type material. It's not scratchy. It feels really good, very stretchy. I would be all over this if it was a little bit shorter. Like if it came to maybe like about right here versus down here, I think this would be perfect. I also don't have, I don't think they have anything in this color. 
I don't normally go towards this color, but as I'm looking at it, I'm like, I really look good in this color. I need to start getting more things. I don't even know what to call it. It's not a mocha. Like, kind of like a, it's not beige, and it's not brown, but it's like kind of in between all of those colors. And then this is just what it looks like in the back. And like I said, very soft. Love the long sleeves. It's nice and light for those of us that live in a warmer climate, which I love. And I do love the fact that even though um, you have to like, even though like if it doesn't stay down here and as it gravitates and moves its way back up, it still is a little bit off the shoulder to the side, which I think is really cute and I love. So I like this a lot. Just wish it wasn't so long. This is something you can do if you don't like the length. You can just kind of, okay, so it's like this. And you can just take it like this, flip it under, and that way it's perfect length. I like this. I think I'm keeping this for sure because I like this a lot. Yeah. Okay, this one I love. It's 100% cotton, size 16. So this one is actually you can size down on. Uh, all the other things I say stay true to size. But this just has lips and it says baby girl all around it. Nice light cotton. You can totally wear this up underneath flannel, um, a cardigan, a jacket. This is so cute. I really love this. I was going to style this with um, a skirt and then some knee high boots, which would be really cute too. So you can totally wear this that way or wear it dressed down like this. And I'm probably going to wear this today because I really like it. Um, it's stretchy. Like I said, it's 100% cotton. It's not a heavy cotton. I love the way that this fits. I don't like, I really don't like, I love t-shirts, but I don't like oversized t-shirts. They're too high on the neck. They bother me and I'm like, mm. and then I just don't like how the sleeves will like come here or they'll be like too big. I just, I don't like t-shirts, but I love t-shirts. I love this style of t-shirt. So I'm really glad that that's what this ended up being. It makes my heart happy and it's really cute. So I like this a lot. This little tube top is a cotton spandex blend. I love this. And I normally don't do red, but for some reason I am loving it with this. It's just strapless, um, size US 20, so it fits perfect. Great length. I love the fact that it's not cropped. That was my biggest concern. I thought it was going to be up here and I was like, mm, no. But when I tried it on, I was like, yes, because I had tried this one on um, when I first got it. But yeah, the tag is falling out. But there's the back. I don't have any issues. Like I don't feel like it's going to throughout the day, like come down. But I love these things because they are so perfect for wearing up underneath cardigans, blazers, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. Um, flannels, again, like these are great basics to have. This is also something you can wear up underneath something that is super low cut, and it's not gonna be like super strappy. That's the one thing I don't like about, you know, having to wear something up underneath something that's super low cut is having to deal with um, straps and stuff like that. So I love this. It's a great basic to have in your closet. I think it's a great length. You can totally tuck it in if you wanted to. Um, and it's just a great, great, great layering piece. And it's also something to transition into, very easily transition into uh, like fall and winter, no. Summer and spring and summer. Um, because you can totally wear it like this, or like I said, you can layer things on top. I love this so very much. Okay, so I specifically got this blazer for this, and I also got this in another color. Can you guys guess what color I got it in? Comment down below and let me know what color this one is in the second one. Um, it, it, well, it's not surprising. Uh, this is a US 20. It has shoulder pads. It has polyester lining in the inside. It's polyester spandex blend and then the lining is 100% polyester. But how good does this look? The only thing, oh, it doesn't have pockets. I really like for my blazer to have pockets. It also does not have a button, which that doesn't bother me too much, but I do like 
and prefer to have pockets in my blazers. Um, but this one was like super inexpensive. Everything at Boohoo is like super inexpensive. The way that I was planning to style this was to wear some white pants with some gold heels. Oh my gosh, perfection. I think that would be so good in its total J-Lo vibes, which I, that's exactly what I was going for with this. But how cute is this? Again, you have the shoulder pads. I'm sure you can take them out if you want to, but I really, really do like this. So if you guessed black, you are absolutely correct. I'm sure all of you guessed black. Um, again, I love this so much, especially the fact that you're not dealing with straps. Super comfortable, great length. I really, really, really love this. And we're gonna be having some 80s coming back this week. Over it, by the way, I want all fall weather. We've been getting it, but it's gonna get hot again. And I'm not here for it, but I'm here for it because I'm able to wear this. So moving on to dresses and jumpsuits. This is really cute. I got this in a size US 22. I really love the length of it. This is gonna be perfect. There is nothing more that I love than a dress like this that hits right above the knee and to wear some knee high boots. Ugh, one of my favorites and it's been my favorite look since, my gosh, I was like 22. I love the fact, okay, so you have a black dress, it's ribbed, you have just a little bit of animal print in the belt and then also right here on the sleeve, which is honestly how I prefer to do animal print. I'm not a huge fan of animal print, but if I'm going to do animal print, I really like to have it in the small little details. You can totally take this off if you wanted to. It does have little belt loops on the side. Um, you can also wear it to the front. You can try to finagle and wear it a little bit more up here if you wanted to, or on a natural waist. You can put it to the side. This is a really good, cute dress. Okay, so here we have a jumpsuit, all black. The tag says 28 in UK sizing. I think that's a 24 in US sizing, but I will fact check that and put it on the screen or down below in the description box. Um, this is just a basic ribbed black jumpsuit. You have the wide legs on the bottom. It does not have pockets. It has little belt loops. You have this little belt right here. And one thing I will say is that the arms are very large. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell because I have a black bra on, but all of this right here is my bra showing. So I don't like that part about it. I do like the mock neck and I like the fact that it's lower because I don't like things around my neck. And then I also love the fact that you have this opening in the back as well. I would have loved, of course, to see some pockets in this. I think it's really flattering and really cute. Um, and I love, this is something else I love. I'm not sure, this was probably supposed to be cropped because they are so short, but they are actually perfect length for me. And I'm not sure, I'm, I'm hoping you guys can see um, from this angle and from the, you know, I'm hoping it's situated right but it goes exactly to my ankle. So like I said, I think that they're supposed to be cropped, but on me, they're actually perfect length, which is something that's so incredibly hard to find in a jumpsuit because every single jumpsuit I have ever tried on has always been so incredibly long that the legs are like flowing all over the floor and it's just not cute. So I do like this a lot. Now that I think of it, this was supposed to be cropped because I was going to pair these with some um, wine boots that I have that are knee high and they're kind of like uh, suede velvety like. I'll link them down below if I can. They are like a must have. I don't think they have the wine though. I think they have the black, but you guys loved the black. So I will link that down below too because I have noticed that that is like really trendy right now is to get a kind of like a cropped, I would say like maybe a culotte, I guess is what they're called, where they're a cropped wide leg pant, especially when you're wearing it as a jumpsuit and then having the knee high boots. I remember that being such a trend back in like 2002 
and I would see all the girls wear it, but for some reason I was always so self-conscious to wear it like that. And I don't know why, but I noticed that that's becoming a trend again. So that's why I got this. So yes, this is supposed to be cropped, but on my 5'4 behind, it is not. But I think it would still look cute um, with the boots. <laughs> Maybe I would just do a booty or something. Okay, last but not least, we have this jumpsuit, which is very casual and very cute. This is a US 24. The last one was also a 24 because I noticed that this was a UK 28. This is too big on me up top. However, it fits perfect down here. And <laughs> that's the thing that's really frustrating with jumpsuits sometimes is I will run into that because I am bigger, you know, like stomach, thighs, butt, and then I'm smaller up here um, with my boobs and my arms and my shoulders. So this would be super cute. This would be so cute. I was going to pair this with some chucks. You can throw on like a really cute cardigan or a denim jacket. But do you guys see how big it is? I mean, it's like, it's very big up top. So yeah, um, I'm trying to see if I can like blouse this out because I think that's what it's how it's supposed to be. But this is super cute. I love how casual it is. Um, Cute. I love the white stripes going down the side. It is so cute, but unfortunately, like I said, it's too big up top. And if I size down, I just have a feeling it would cling too much to this area. So unfortunately, this won't work for me. But if you're better proportioned, maybe your stomach, if my stomach wasn't as big as it is, I would totally be able to size down. And that's my issue is my stomach. I need the room for my stomach. My camera turned off. Um, but it's so stretchy that I feel like if I size down, it would be okay in the thigh and butt area, but I don't think it would be good in the stomach area. So, yeah, this is our last item. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Like I said earlier, subscribe if you are new here. And also, don't forget to comment down below and let me know, would you rather see try-ons just like this and I give you suggestions on how to style them? or would you rather see them styled? As a matter of fact, I'm gonna also do a poll. I want you to do a comment and do the poll because I wanna see the percentage of people because if there's a high percentage of people or if the percentage of you guys would rather me style them, then that's what I'll do. But if not, then I'll just keep them the way that they are. So with that, I love you guys. I hope that you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.